righty, I got a construction update for you guys today. This one's going to be a really quick one. This one is just centered around Moosehorn Falls. Um, and you're not going to want to miss tomorrow's construction update. It gets really exciting. Um, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> but nonetheless, Moosehorn's looking really good. Um, it's funny. I say that because wait till tomorrow's update. And Moosehorn is about to like start to take shape, by the way. She's about to... Uh, start crossing on over uh to the the finish line so as you can see here not too many pieces left um working away that parking lot is almost empty they're going to need that clear um in about two weeks is my guess um the end of june for track and supports to start arriving um but that's a pretty aggressive uh prediction um moosehorn is looking good here so they got the cement poured for the per first part where the slide will do the little airtime hill and then head towards the pool um, and they're laying down the rebar for the pool section. Over here, they have two pieces remaining of the gray and white um, section of the slide to connect to the tower. Um, and then they obviously have to lay down the ground of the tower and the bridge. But again, wait for tomorrow's update. They're conquering a lot. Um, for those of you that have followed my channel um, along the way, we always get to a point where I tell you, I know we're delayed, by the way, when I say this. It was supposed to open May 25th. But just trust the process. Wonderland, um, a construction project will look super far behind. And then out of nowhere, it's like two, three days, it ends up being finished. It's crazy. Um, so I think we're about five days away from completion. Knock on wood. Um, if the weather cooperates uh, from seeing this mostly complete, obviously the, that's not including landscaping and all that and connecting the electrical and connecting the plumbing. That's just the hard parts of the ride, uh, the actual core parts being installed, and you'll start to see them clean up. In fact, I have started to see them clean up, but that's in tomorrow's update. Um, so yeah, super exciting, um, and that's all I have to say about that. I don't want to reveal anything in tomorrow's update, um, but there are some cool things arriving as well. Now, the things that are arriving, I can't confirm if they're for 2025. We have an electrical building that the park is building as well, a pump house and an electrical building that'll kind of store power um, and kind of release it. It's a supercell charger. I forget there's an actual word for it. Sorry. I, by the way, I'm coming down with something right now. I, things are not going my way right now. I keep getting sick. I have a fever and a sore throat. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. It's not what I think it is. But yeah. So uh, with that being said, yeah, they're building a supercharger um, for the new ride and a pump house that'll be attached. And I think that's all I have to say in this video. Um, I, there's been a lot of questions about the Crip sign. I, I've seen that in the comment section. The Crip sign is for Halloween Haunt Maze, by the way, in the bottom of the mountain. Um, it's not the name of the new ride. And the dirt over by Rutherford, that is just where they're dumping dirt. That's not a construction project starting. So I thought I would just clear that up in this video. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, have a good one and stay tuned for tomorrow. Bye.